the economy question. Yeah. So I think one of the concerns is not so much about you know the stock market reaction specifically, but that it reveals deeper concerns about the level of deficits and other sort of potential vulnerabilities. Um, are you, you know, yeah, I know you're monitoring what's happening, but what, what can you say about the sort of the stability of the global economic system and whether yeah. yesterday's route kind of sends troubling signals about how stable it is? So look, as you just stated as well in your statement, our, our economic team is going to continue to monitor right what's happening both here and around the world that's something that they they're going to do we believe the u.s economy remains resilient and uh, with strong growth investment consumption and productivity uh, and so that is uh, certainly our focus and we're look we're going to continue to keep keep an, keep an eye on what's happening that's what the economic team is going to continue to do Again, we believe the economy remains resilient. There's data that proves that, whether it's unemployment, whether it's inflation down by 2.5%, uh, whether it's consumers that remain, you know, re remain resilient. All of those, that, those data points are important. Uh, and so we're going to focus on the middle class, the American people, working people, and seeing what else we can do to lower costs. That is what they care about. And uh, that's going to continue to be our focus for the next five months. A number of economists have called for emergency rate cuts. I realize that Fed yeah. rate is in independent. But to what extent um, are you uh, sort of accelerating conversations? You know, has the president had any conversations recently with Jay Powell or other economists or his own advisors yeah. about the coming? Did he get you know, fully briefed yesterday about what was happening? So I can say the president and the vice president have been fully briefed by their economic team. They, that's something that uh, uh, they are regularly updated. And as I said, the economic, uh, economic team is going to continue to monitor this very closely. As it relates to the Fed, that is, they are independent. The president is very, has always been very serious about that. Unlike the last administration, the Fed is independent. We do not get involved in any monetary policy decisions that they make. They make that independently. What we're focused on is how do we continue to build on the economy, build on the successes that we've been able to do the last three and a half years. And we understand what the president inherited when he walked in was a, you know, an economic uh, economy that was on a downturn. He had to turn that around. And that's what the president was able to do. But we also understand that the American people still want to see more. They want to see lower costs, right? They still are feeling this, uh, feeling what we saw once in a century pandemic that the president had to deal with. So that's why our focus is going to be just that. The working class, the middle class, what else can we do to lower those costs as we have been uh, doing for the past three and a half years?